Tuesday morning vlog number what is it 2515 I think I got that right if I didn't the correct number should be in the title welcome to you new people I've been doing this a little while there's a lot to catch up on you can go to my playlist on my channel and watch from number one all the way till today I started numbering them about three years after I started making these videos so there's three years of videos uh, that are in separate playlists. I'm not too sure what to do with them yet. I might put them into one single playlist. They're called like trip number one, trip number two, day this, day that. They're all in playlists on my channel. So I got a lot of content. I got over 3,000 videos. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. You don't want to miss anything. Otherwise you're out of the loop and wondering what's going on. The sun seems really bright today. Is it brighter than other days? Who knows? I'm here to pick up my trailer. I was half an hour early, so that's good. Just waiting for them to show up here and tell me which trailer to take, and then it's off to Brandon. Two hours that way. More cobra chickens. You know, fun fact about these guys is they mate for life, eh? That's a husband and wife right there. They stay together through their whole entire lives. They go everywhere together. why you always see them in pairs that way they always have backup if you mess with them you mess with mama watch out daddy's coming he's coming around the corner he'll whoop you we got probably about a 40 foot box trailer behind us filled with a whole bunch of stuff it's pretty heavy actually it's a triaxle for such a short trailer it's got a lot of weight to it just trying to get onto waverly street here if the lights, aha, green lights. Yes, you wait, you wait. I'm gonna need the whole road here. You wait. There we go. And then I'm turning left right a ways. So I'm going to keep the left lane. Oh yeah, we're heavy. Oh, oh. Woo. Can you guys feel that through the camera? That is some weight, yikes. Big weight in a small package. Yikes. I wasn't expecting that when I hooked onto it. Gives the pipes an opportunity to sing a little louder and also gives the engine a good work over you know get all the soot and everything out of there straight out the pipes <laughs> she's an old truck this is McGilvery Boulevard if you're familiar with Winnipeg if you're not once again I'm not surprised I don't I don't blame you And that's west. So we're gonna go west towards uh, the perimeter highway, take the perimeter up to the number one highway and then go west for about two hours where the second largest city in Manitoba is. If I can get my button gear here, come on, start rolling, girl. It's a beautiful chorus between the whine of the turbo, the rumble of the pipes, and the hum of the tires. It's just mwah, better than any opera out there. Any quartet, any choir can't beat the sound of 18 wheels or more. Nice turbo. This truck has a Cummins engine in it. Yeah. For me personally, my favorite engines are Cat, Caterpillar engines. But unfortunately, Caterpillar decided they didn't want to be a part of the highway tractor market anymore. And they don't put their engines and sell their engines to other manufacturers. They build their own trucks now, which are sort of heavy duty trucks. 
and they hog their engines to themselves because they know they're the best but now you can't get a highway tractor with the best engine in it so i guess that's good for cummins detroit and volvo all these other engines that are out there for highway trucks and mercedes benz i gotta get in this left lane because this right lane ends up ahead here all right green light let's let him sing again you hear the harmonies of the pipes right and then once we get going a little more you hear the turbo chime in there too and then we can always like add the jake brakes there but i'm not supposed to in the city not supposed to that's for later the wonderful sounds of an 18 wheeler i tell you what I could fall asleep to those sounds. Not that they make me tired, it's just they're so beautiful. I used to sit at rest areas, especially in the US where they have rest areas right beside the, the highway, and just sit there in the, in the grass with diesel or sit there on the back of the truck or something and just listen to the trucks go by. Or if I was sleeping in the truck, I'd open the windows, not for the fresh air, that was a bonus. I opened the windows on the sleeper so that I could hear the, the hum of the trucks going past the rest area at night oh i love it i've got here i gotta figure out where they wanted i'm just waiting for them to come back to me here and uh let me know and i'll drop it for them and so far i think i'm just bobtailing back to winnipeg but uh i'll call in first so that i don't go all the way back there if they have something for me out here might be another trailer sitting out here that needs to be brought back we'll see Lowered my air suspension on the trailer. So gently, gently drop it there. There we go. Put the airbag in here. Wait for the airbags to fill up a little bit because you, otherwise the half fenders drag on the wheels. You don't want that. There we go. All set. Job well done. Pat myself on the back. I'm just gonna go up here and uh, contact the load guards and uh, just confirm that they want me to come back empty or just bobtailing. Uh, it was kind of soft back there. I got all kinds of mud on my tires now. And I don't want it to spray all over my cab because that makes more work for me later when I wash it. So I'm going to go slowly down the asphalt here on their in their yard and take a corner. And as I corner, my drive sort of twists, and that should twist a lot of the mud off. Leave the mud here; it belongs to them. And I don't need to take it with me. I'm going to make it as sharp as I can. And turn this way. Way to get mud off your tires, just drive in circles. There we go. Got most of it off, a good chunk of it, anyways. I'm gonna get outside the gate here and make my phone call. I think I just gotta drive up to the gate and they'll let me out. Got the phone call. Bobtail back. Off we go. Cleaned up the truck a little bit, did some vacuuming. There's a lot more to do in the interior of this truck. This truck, uh, it's been a designated work truck only for a very long time before I got into it. And uh, I'm trying to turn it into uh, something a little nicer. quite a bit of effort but that's okay gives me something to do like I always say it makes me feel good when I clean something and make something better than it was So 
mentioned it or anything. Uh, but I do have plans in the future to buy a truck. I'm not sure when though, because the truck prices right now are insane. You know, you're paying pretty much new price for a used truck. But uh, the plan is to buy a truck, a used truck, probably pre-DEF, I'm not too sure yet. A used truck, it's going to be a long nose Peterbilt 379, maybe a 389. Uh, or a W900L. It's going to be long nose truck. It's going to be flat top sleeper. And I'm going to build it into a show truck. I'm going to build it into my dream truck. And I'm going to do the circuit. I'm going to be taking it to show and shines and truck shows, entering it into truck shows. And who knows, maybe I can build it up to a point where I can actually win some of these. The reason I'm kind of holding off on it is because uh, we're trying to start a family right now. And that's the whole reason I'm doing like local stuff where I'm home every day, right? I want to be home every day, make sure that we get the family started. That's what's most important to me. That's the priority. But once we get that on the road, like if these, uh, we have two, two chances now. Hopefully the first one takes. But uh, once we get the, the baby on the road, pregnancy on the road, then uh, I am planning to be in the market for trucks. I'm gonna be stretching out the frame all the bells and whistles and within the over the next 10 years or so or five years however long it takes me I'm gonna be turning it into uh, I'm gonna turn it into a showstopper it's gonna be the TJV truck TJV rig you'll see me coming you'll know it's me I want to have it at as many show and shines and truck shows as I can so that's the plan and if all goes according to plan, I want to have that truck in my possession and driving it by next summer 2023. That gives us a lot of time to prepare to get a bunch of other stuff taken care of first. And by next summer, I don't know, it might not be a show truck right away, right? I'm going to buy it first and then we're going to start building it together here on the channel in the shop. Those of you who came to Truck World and met me there know this plan already because I was talking about it there. I haven't really announced anything because nothing's really official yet. But uh, the plans are now official that by next summer, I want to be in my truck. And I'm going to run that truck on regional, most likely. So I'll uh, be on the road again a little bit. I'm not going to be going as far as I once did. Diesel will be back in the truck with me. Yes, even though it's a show truck, I'm still going to have my boy with me. I'm just gonna buy a bunch of vacuum cleaners and <laughs> clean that truck up every day. It's gonna be my daily driver. And every summer we're gonna have it at all the shows. Who knows, maybe we can follow Tony Justice around, you know? He goes to a lot of these show and shines and I know him, we're both on the Bull Snot Posse. We work together there. And uh, I'd love to get uh, on the circuit with him and Bull Snot. But we'll see what happens, okay? Right now we're, uh, I have my eyes and ears and all my antennas up looking for trucks. Like I said, probably mid 2000s, pre-DEF, Peterbilt 379, maybe a 389, I'd consider it. Long nose, or a Kenworth W900, and it's gotta be a flat top sleeper. The rest I can work with. Cause I'm gonna get the frame painted, I'm gonna get the frame stretched. I'm pretty much planning to measure out the shop and uh, from there we're going to stretch the truck out, stretch the frame out as long as I can and still fit the truck in the shop with the hood open. In a perfect world, I'd love to start on this today, get a truck today. But I do have some other priorities to take care of first, like I said earlier. We're gonna get our family started and we'll see. We'll see what kind of trucks I find. I want it to be obviously in good condition, hopefully with a recent overhaul on the motor. I'd love to see a Cat C15 twin turbo in my shop, but again, we'll see what we can find. And then me and you are gonna build this truck. You'll see it right from scratch when we get it and every step of the way. You'll see it as it progresses, as it gets better and better as we take it to more and more shows. 
and hopefully one day we can all be victorious and the TJV truck can win first prize somewhere. A lot of T's to cross and I's to dot before we do that, so let's not get too excited. But the main question at Truck World that you guys asked me was, is diesel gonna come with me again soon? And am I ever going to go back over the road on the highway? So yes, diesel will be back in the truck with me when that happens. Uh, even though it's a show truck, like I said, he'll be with me. If he's still healthy enough and able to, I mean, Chevy can come with too. And uh, as for going back over the road, while my children are young, I'm probably going to be staying close to home. We have some good regional routes right now where I can be home every weekend and sometimes in between. So I'll be home once during the week and every weekend. So my, my radius would be sort of like, uh, I don't know, about a thousand miles or so, right? Maybe 2000, wherever, maybe to Calgary, out to Thunder Bay, down to Minneapolis, maybe into Wisconsin, down to Iowa, you know, that circle around the center of the mid, uh, northern Midwest for the US. We'll see what happens, okay? There's a lot, uh, a lot of time in between now and then. For now, we're gonna keep driving this old girl. We're gonna keep fixing her up, making her look a little bit prettier. But I want you to know that we have plans that hopefully next summer, we're gonna start this truck build and I'll be in a nice long nose Pete or Kenworth W900 flat top. I'm really excited. But first, I'm even more excited about what this IVF process. A lot of exciting things always happening. You know, life is exciting. Life is exciting. One thing at a time though, one thing at a time. Let's, let's finish one thing first. Let's get a baby. Just want to show off my newest piece of artwork that I got hanging in the shop here. Thanks to Joel, who drew this for me and brought it to me at Truck World while he was there. Thank you, man. Got it right here on my wall where I can see it every day. Love it. He drew my truck. Did a great job. And now it's time to go home. Day is done. Got a little carried away here too. I think supper's ready at home already. I got the text. So am I eating without you? Oh boy, it means I'm in trouble and I'm late for supper. Before we go, gotta make sure that the water's off. Okay, good, it is. Just double checking for the pressure washer. Woo! <laughs> Shelby! 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 Shelby!